Finally, the Xperia 1 Mark III is in the market and it's very compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. Without going further, we must discuss the battery hours. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra wins the game here with 114 hours of battery time. That includes 35 hours of talk time, 15 hours of web surfacing and 17 hours of video watching. But on the other hand, if you're looking for the Sony Xperia 1 3, which is 4500 mAh battery, has a call time of 22.42 hours and 9 hours of web surfacing and 12 point 40 hours of video watching no doubt the sony xperia 1 3 does resemble its predecessors in terms of the device but sony did improve the device in a number of ways these are two heavy heavyweight category smartphone from samsung and sony and it will be interesting to see how they compare well that's for sure we will be kicking off by telling the specs of each of the phone one by one. These two phones do use similar build materials but they look considerably different in comparisons. Both phones are made out of metal and glass. They are almost the same height but the Xperia 1 Mark III is considerably narrower than the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is also a bit thinner than the Samsung's flagship. On top of all that, it is a lot lighter it weighs 186 grams while the galaxy s21 ultra weighs 227 grams that is a difference you will feel in the hand very much on so on the other side the galaxy s21 ultra features a curved display and centered display camera hole at the top its bezels are really thin and there's a huge camera setup on the back the xperia 1 mark 3 on the flip side does not have a display camera hole but its bezels are a bit thicker because of that they are not thick though not at all its rear camera setup is considerably smaller than the one in the galaxy s21 ultra the xperia 1 mark 3 also has a physical camera shutter on the right which is not something you will find on the galaxy s21 ultra both of these smartphones are quite slippery do note that chances are you will want to use a case with both of them neither of them is actually a one-handed device but the xperia 1 mark 3 is much easier to use with one hand as as it is a lot narrower compared to compared to the galaxy s21 ultra on the flip side in regards to the display both of these smartphones have a lot of offer the galaxy s21 ultra features a 6.8 inch quad hd plus dynamic amoled 2x display this is a 120 hertz display that does offer a variable refresh rate. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark III on the other hand includes 6.5 inch 4K display. This is an OLED panel that does not support a 120 hertz refresh rate and it also supports HDR content. This panel also gets quite bright but not as bright as the Galaxy S21 Ultra display. The Gorilla Glass Rictus is included on the handset as well to protect its display. The Galaxy S21 Ultra's display is brighter while the Xperia's 1 Mark III is a little bit sharper. Do note that both displays are more than bright enough. While you won't really notice the extra sharpness on the Xperia 1 Mark III, both of these panels are more than sharp enough or as even QHD Plus is overskill for smartphone let alone 4k the thing is you won't even be using 4k resolution all the time as that would kill the battery really fast you will be thrown to full hd plus resolution unless you're watching some 4k content talking of the performance both of these smartphones come with a high-end specs needless to say both devices are fueled by the snapdragon 888 soc though there's also the galaxy s21 ultra exonious variant in some markets especially in asian markets but we had experience with the snapdragon model so that's the variant we will talk about both phones also include plenty of ram the galaxy s21 ultra has comes with 8 gb and 12 gb and even 16 gb of rams while the xperia 1 mark 3 comes with 12 gb of ram no matter what variant you choose you will get really really good performance on the hand xperia 1 mark 3. in general both devices perform great they can do your regular daily tasks 
without issue. The Xperia 1 Mark III heating up aside, it doesn't really affect its performance. Both devices can also run pretty much any game you will find in the Google Play Store. If that's your thing, it is worth saying that the Xperia 1 Mark III side-facing fingerprint scanner performs better than the Galaxy S21 Ultra's ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner. The difference is really notable. Talking about the audio, the both of the phones use the stereo speaker and talking about the camera, the camera here are actually interesting. The Xperia 1 Mark III comes with a variable zoom camera and the expectations were quite high. If you're going to buy this, the Xperia 1 Mark III, make sure to leave a comment below. Why are you going to buy this phone? Why not Galaxy S21 Ultra? That could be the reason it's expensive or otherwise any reason. Make sure to leave a comment below. We'll catch you in another video. Keep visiting Tig's schooling.